a $4 trillion industry and a major source of energy. In this video, we're going to show you what might move the price of natural gas. Natural gas and its products permeate daily life. Viewing something on a screen, likely that a derivative of natural gas helps create it. From clothes to food on the table, natural gas and its products are used everywhere. But its most significant role? Supplying a staggering 23% of the world's power. Even as the world's third most traded commodity, it remains subject to the most basic economic principle supply and demand. Simply put, the price of natural gas hinges on the balance between supply, or production, and demand, or consumption. An example of shifts in supply were hydraulic fracking advancements in the US, unlocking previously inaccessible shale gas. Conversely, disruptions or damages to production systems can reduce supply. Likewise, demand is influenced by factors like industrial expansion in rapidly growing economies such as China. But economic downturns can dampen this, leading to reduced industry activity and a drop in demand. To navigate these complexities, many gas-consuming countries rely on a critical tool, inventories. Nearly every gas-consuming nation has extensive storage facilities, whether state-operated or managed by private enterprise. Inventories can be viewed as the safety nets of the gas world. These reserves serve as buffers, ensuring an uninterrupted supply even in the face of unforeseen production issues. Let the inventory get too low and prices can move dramatically higher. The UK has experienced this. With extremely low levels of gas storage coming out of the pandemic, the price per BTU paid by the consumer remained high, even as Europe's price lowered. Carefully managed, however, they play a vital role in stabilising prices, especially when considering predictable market fluctuations. Now, one of the most predictable is seasonality. Seasonality is straightforward. As colder months approach, especially in the Northern Hemisphere, the demand for natural gas soars due to increased heating and electricity needs. This typically pushes price up in the months preceding winter. But meteorologists would be the first to admit that extended weather forecasting is, at best, an educated guess. Unexpected weather events can directly influence natural gas demand. The country sees Arctic temperatures and record lows throughout the South and Plains states. Now, in February 2021, the US natural gas spot price reached highs of nearly $24 as temperatures dove amidst a deep freeze. In Texas, predominantly gas fuel power stations grappled with unexpected demands as residents and businesses cranked up the heat. Only a few months later, in August 2021, Hurricane Ida came ashore shifting the pressure from demand to supply. But we do begin tonight with this Category 4 hurricane slamming into the U.S. In advance of the storm, about 95% of oil and gas production in the Gulf of Mexico was halted because of the storm's approach. This resulted in an almost complete natural gas production shutdown in the Gulf and a subsequent supply chain disruption, with prices rising nearly 16% above the initial estimate. While severe weather can trigger such market jolts, political events can also have a considerable impact, as Europe witnessed when natural gas became a focal point in geopolitics. In 2021, Europe heavily depended on external supplies for its gas needs. Russia, at the time, the largest exporter of natural gas in the world, was supplying nearly 40% of Europe's consumption. The Russian President Vladimir Putin has launched a military special operation. In February 2022, the subsequent military conflict in Ukraine and the imposing of global sanctions sent shockwaves through European markets as political tensions escalated and exports from this dominant supplier started to decline, leading to the Dutch TTF rising over 500%. While wars and sanctions have represented dramatic geopolitical influence on the gas market, 
the underlying dynamics often involve nations' control over their exports and their imports. Countries with substantial natural gas reserves can influence global prices by modulating their export volumes. Likewise, major consumers, like the European Union, can adjust their import patterns in response to industrial demands, thereby affecting global prices. Considering the many factors we've already covered, it might seem counterintuitive that traders might use natural gas as a hedge, especially against a subject that has dominated global headlines, like inflation. A natural economic phenomena, inflation is the increase in the cost of goods over time. However, sometimes it can get out of hand. To control it, central banks adjust interest rates, impacting sectors like natural gas that are capital intensive. Yet it's often consumers, not the producers, who bear these extra costs, most directly through the price of energy. In the Eurozone, energy prices often seem to trend with inflation, prompting some traders and investors to see gas as a hedge against it. But it's worth noting natural gas prices move because of many factors, some of which we've covered, and not just inflation. I hope you've got a good understanding of some things that might affect the price of natural gas. Check out our other videos on our YouTube channel, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time.